So guys, welcome back. Now let us discuss once again the concept of exponential back off. Now that we are already familiar with the term exponential back off, we discussed this term in the context when TCP client wanted to establish connection with the dead TCP server, right? Now here we will going to discuss the concept of exponential back off in case the TCP sender experiences its data segments has been continuously getting lost in the network. So you can see in the diagram on the right hand side we have a TCP sender and we have a TCP receiver. So let us suppose that the TCP sender sends a segment with sequence number k to the TCP receiver, right? And it initiates the retransmission timer of this data segment as soon as it injects this data segment into the network. Let us assume that RTO is t seconds, right? Now let us assume that this data segment has been lost in the network. That is its ACK never arrives to TCP sender. Now you can assume any of the things, whether this data segment itself has lost or its ACK while on the journey from TCP receiver towards TCP sender gets lost. Both conditions are equivalent with respect to TCP sender. So when this retransmission timer of this data segment expires, the TCP sender retransmit the same data segment again and restart the retransmission timer again. But this time the value of RTO was doubled of its previous value, right? Now let us assume that this data segments is also lost in the network, right? So what will TCP do? The TCP after expiration of this retransmission timer will again retransmit the same segment again and it will restart the retransmission timer again. And this time the value of RTO is again doubled of the previous and this continues. Right? So you can see that doubling the RTO for every consecutive retransmission is called exponential back off. Right? Default number of retries the TCP sender does to send the segment is 3. That is the TCP sender tries to send the data segment at maximum of 3 times. Right? So exponential back off in this context prevents the retransmissions from being sent too quickly and further adding to the network congestion, right? Since the data segments is being continuously lost again and again, it is the indication that the network is really congested and in a bad state. Therefore, TCP sender should try to slow down its rate of injecting the segments to the network. And that is why exponential back off technique has been implemented here in order to slow down the rate of TCP sender from injecting the segments into the already congested network. So this is another case where exponential back off technique is used in the context of TCP protocol.